It's Larvae Story Time. And what story do we have today? Trust yourself. It was a clear, crisp day, and Pocahontas had decided to climb to the top of a high mountain with her friends Miku the raccoon and Flit the hummingbird. She hadn't climbed this mountain since she was a little girl. They came to a fork in the road. Which direction should I take, Miku? asked Pocahontas. The raccoon pointed at the gentler, flatter path. <laughs> Let's try this one. She pointed at the narrower, steeper route. They climbed and climbed and the path grew steeper and narrower. Miku chattered away nervously and even Flit seemed anxious. As Pocahontas sat down on a large tree stump to catch her breath, the wind suddenly picked up. Then the clouds moved in and rain poured down on them. Oh, oh no, said Pocahontas, jumping to her feet. We can't stay here and it's too slippery to climb back down. We need to keep moving. Pocahontas didn't let on to Miku and Flint, but as the water streamed down the steep path, she grew frightened. The footing was even more slippery, and she was getting colder and colder. Then she remembered something her grandma Willow had told her. I need to listen, Pocahontas said to herself. I must listen to the spirits all around us and they will keep us safe. She tried to listen, but it was too hard to hear anything over the pouring rain and the rushing winds. Miku chatted nervously and hung onto Pocahontas. I must listen to my heart, she said, and suddenly she heard them. The spirits spoke to her. They told her to climb a little higher, just a bit, and there she would find shelter. Come on, Miku, come on, Flit, she cried over the wind and the rain. We'll find shelter just a little way up. Sure enough, they found an opening in the rocks, just a bit higher up the path. Between the rocks was a small cave, and inside it was warm and dry. The three of them made their way into the cave and sat, listening to the rain and wind. The storm soon passed, and the sun came out. Come on, Pocahontas cried to Miku and Flit. Let's go see what it looks like at the top. They hurried the rest of the way up the trail until they came out on a wide flat ledge. Far below they could see the forest and beyond it the sparkling blue sea. Isn't it beautiful? And just think, she said, more to herself than the other two. You see Miku, see Flit, said Pocahontas. We're seeing the world a different way. If I hadn't chosen the unexplored path, I would never have heard the spirits talk to me. Oh. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that larvae story. Please remember to share, like, and to come back tomorrow for another larvae story. Zzz.